Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Dan Lewis. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and a hand surgeon at Ortho Carolina. I often work at the hand center at Randolph Road as well as Matthews. So we're gonna take a look at this specimen right here. This is the bony anatomy of the end of the forearm, the wrist, as well as the fingers. The two bones of the forearm uh, come together here to form the wrist joint along with the eight bones of the wrist. There's the radius bone and the ulna bone, which again are the two bones of the forearm which connect together and control the rotation of the forearm. As we get to the fingertips, are the metacarpal bones to the thumb, index, middle, and ring fingers. And then as we come out to the rest of the hand are the phalanges. So one of the most common conditions that patients come in to see a hand surgeon for is carpal tunnel syndrome. And carpal tunnel syndrome is actually a compression of the median nerve that occurs in the carpal tunnel, which is an actual anatomic space. And we can see this is the left hand with the palm up position, like so. There's a strong ligament that connects these bones together that rises over top like an arch. The nerve, the median nerve, passes through that tunnel with nine tendons that flex the fingers down. With carpal tunnel syndrome, there will be pressure exerted on the median nerve, which can cause numbness and tingling to the thumb, index, middle, and portion of the ring finger. Another common condition that I see in the clinic is trigger finger. And what trigger finger is, is when the tendons that come down again through the hand out towards the finger become compressed within a tunnel called the flexor sheath or flexor retinaculum. This area right here is called the A1 pulley. And we could see the two tendons that bend the finger down, particularly this example is the ring finger, will pass into this tube as it moves out towards the fingertip. This tube will become thickened and less pliable. That creates drag and results in inflammation and swelling of the tendon. This will create a snapping type sensation that occurs in the finger that could also be quite painful. The second most commonly compressed nerve in the upper extremity is the ulnar nerve. The ulnar nerve can be compressed through this space most commonly called the cubital tunnel. As the ulnar nerve travels down from the arm, it'll pass through a canal right behind the elbow as it moves towards the hand. And then eventually will provide the sensation to the small and ring finger. One of the most common complaints people have who have cubital tunnel syndrome is not only numbness and tingling into the ring and small finger, but they feel like they cannot use the hand to do fine motor activities such as buttoning their shirt, uh, or shaving. So here at Experience Anatomy, we specialize in preparing soft embalmed cadaver specimens that can be utilized for surgical training. In front of us here, we have a cadaver arm uh, from an individual who decided to donate their body to science for education. And so here we'll dive in and take a look at some of the anatomy of the arm that is performed during uh, elbow, wrist, and hand surgery. Carpal tunnel syndrome is when the nerve becomes compressed in this space. The operation to release the nerve is called a carpal tunnel release. So we typically, for carpal tunnel release, an open carpal tunnel release, we'll make an incision in the palm, in the proximal portion. Palmar fascia is divided. The transverse carpal ligament is right there. And we will go ahead and divide that. The median nerve is now visible after the transverse carpal ligament has been divided. This is one side of the ligament, and the other side is on this side, right here at the tip of my knife. That ligament has, has been divided. The fibers move in this direction. And now we can see the deep structures of the median nerve and the flexor tendons, uh, which are visible deep. The nerve has been uh, decompressed by releasing this thick ligament. The surgery for trigger finger is in this location right here where the problem is, where the tendons pass into the first part of a tube that goes from this location out towards the tip of the finger. An incision is made from the base of the finger towards the distal palmar crease in this location. The skin is incised and the subcutaneous fat is swept away. And we can now see the tube that the tendons glide within. This is where the tube has become thickened and is compressing the tendons. We will take a scalpel and divide the tube longitudinally. Scissors will complete the release 
distally and then proximally. And now we could see the flexor tendons that bend the finger down are completely free in this location and are able to glide. So when patients develop cubital tunnel syndrome, the ulnar nerve or funny bone is pinched in this location called the cubital tunnel. We're going to perform what's known as a cubital tunnel release. An incision is made on the inside of the elbow. This is the olecranon or the back of the elbow, the pointy part, and this is the inside of the elbow. The incision that I'm making is going to be a little bit larger than what I typically make in surgery so that everyone could see. And then we dissect through the subcutaneous fat. During the operation, we decompress the nerve as it passes through this thick tube that is surrounded by a, a thick ligament and bone. So we very carefully, while we protect the nerve, we'll cut the overlying ligament Cut the fascia of the muscle, carefully spread and cut the muscle, doesn't damage it at all. The thick ligament that creates the roof of the cubital tunnel and was creating compression on the nerve has been completely released, which frees up pressure on the nerve. I'd like to thank you for joining us. Hopefully this demonstration has provided education on multiple conditions that affect the upper extremity. If you are having any of these conditions or any other conditions that affect the hand, wrist, or elbow, feel free to reach out to Ortho Carolina to schedule an appointment with one of our providers. Again, my name is Dr. Dan Lewis. I practice at the Hand Center on Randolph Road in downtown Charlotte, as well as the Matthews location. I hope you the best of health, but I am here if you have any other issues, questions, or concerns, and be more than happy to see you in one of our offices.